Dana here, and yeah, welcome to my garage. Today we're going to change out the muffler on my wife's 08 Jeep Liberty. And you might have saw me in, in another vehicle when I was down at Wilbert's. I cut this off of another Liberty. And we're going to go ahead and change it out. But this is what the old one looks like. <laughs> Um, hopefully it's just a textbook thing, um, do some cutting and, uh, sliding, sliding in and going from there. Um, I'm not going to get too, too crazy, I don't think. Well, I got to tell you, so I don't raise my voice while I'm talking. The hanger ripped out of the So now I got to replace that whole protection there, not only the freaking sauce pipe Jesus I need a muffler I can't win I can't win okay let's finish up on this video we we're getting I had to get what I wound up doing here is I got two two and a quarter outer unions so what happened is the inner part of this uh, the outer part of the muffler fit inside the two and a quarter inner and then the outside of the two and a quarter inner was able to slide inside your main you could have taken it over the outside if you want but um i don't know i'm still deciding whether i want to weld that thing um and then on this side they went on both, the one, the inner, the pipes went inside it, okay? So two and a quarter inner diameter. Um, so that will fit two and a quarter outer diameter pipe. So that's that way at the moment. Um, I got this temporary because I'm gonna have to replace this. So this was my makeshift fix for the moment. Um, I cut a piece of pipe, about three quarters, and then I slid it over the top of it, so that'll take care of that, take care of that hole, um, until I can get a replacement for it. Um, it's not going to go anywhere at the moment. I could, I could weld that, and then that would fill in that hole, and then clean this thing up, and weld that to that. And then we'd be done, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna freaking mess around for right now um, because Wilbur's is closed. Um, it's just gonna be like that for now. She'll be able to drive it. It's not going anywhere, and uh, I'm happy. I'm happy like that. So, you know, if you're able to do this stuff yourself, that's no problem. <laughs> it would be a whole different scenario if you were doing it for a, a customer because you'd replace that whole whole thing. Um, that would run you probably about, run them about $300 just for parts. And then you're two hours worth of work at a hundred and, <laughs> at $125 an hour if your shop is paying that, which is the other is. So, um, you'd have a new muffler, you'd have a new, new pipe all the way back with a new freaking resonator in the back. Oh, probably. I don't know, that sucker there's probably $150. Um, maybe maybe 100 And then $100 worth of pipe back. So I'd say 250 250 bucks from muffler back plus two hours worth of work. So you're looking at $500. And unfortunately, I'm looking at nine, 900 close to $1,000 just to get the security system on the nitro fixed because that freaking little box that little little box i think is like four they're charging me four hundred dollars for that box and then they're charging me five hundred dollars for labor so um i'll wait till i get the wait till i get the bill but he's saying about 
$950. They've already spent $500 just figuring it out. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And why am I bringing it up? Because this is a this is a Liberty, and it has the exact same security system as the Nitro's got in it. So, when you're buying a vehicle from somebody, make sure you get two keys. Um, and make sure that vehicle starts, because I screwed up. And I didn't make sure that vehicle started. And when I saw that box missing from um, the ignition, I should have said, that's it. Nope, not me. But live and learn, and I'm making sure you, you're learned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And we'll catch you on the next Dana Crosby's Garage. And this is Project Jeep.